57, more like a vault. You pull the handle out, and on the shelves, not a lot. And what there is, a boiled potato in a bag, a chicken carcass under foil, looking dispirited, drained. a place to go in the hope or hunger, but just to the right of the middle, of the middle door shelf on fire, a lit from within red, heart red, sexual red, wet neon red, company, a jar of maraschino cherries, three quarters full, fiery goats, like strippers at a church social, <laughs> maraschino cherries, maraschino, the only foreign word I knew. Not once did I see these cherries employed, not in a drink, nor on top of a glob of ice cream, or just pop one in your mouth, not once. The same jar there through an entire childhood of dull dinners, bald meat popped and see above boiled potatoes. Maybe they came over from the old country, family heirlooms, <laughs> or were status symbols bought with a piece of the first paycheck from the sweatshop, which beat the pig farm in Bohemia. From my grandparents to my parents to be someday mine. Then, my child, they were beautiful. And if I never ate one, it was because I knew it might be missed, or because I knew it would not be replaced. And because you do not eat that dream.